Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to my let's uh, my let's play Minecraft. Um, since the last time I did a video, I did some building in my house here in my shelter. I don't know. Um, tell me what you think of me doing all the building without you. Uh, took a while, so I mean, not sure if it's all that interesting. So I just built it, and I'm gonna show you around real quick before I get to doing stuff. So. Uh, here I built a large chest. Uh, if you ever ha if you ever have a question about how to build something, go ahead and leave a comment, ask me, and uh, I'll explain it. So I built two chests here, which put together make a large chest, and that's just where I'm keeping all my materials that I've collected. Um, I've created a bunch of uh, tools, implements, and uh, some food for an adventure. And as you can see, I crafted some leather armor, uh, just in case I run into some enemies, it'll help protect me. And I built a furnace over here for making uh, whatever I need to melt stuff down. I created some stairs in this little pit, my work pit, I'll, I guess I'll call it. And I have a little glass dome uh, that I can look out and I can see the sun for most of, most of the time, except... I guess if it's behind there, but that's no big deal. Okay, um, I have an entrance over here. This goes to this side of my house. I built some doors, as you see. Uh, another entrance on this side for the other side. This is where I initially came in here. And then, of course, up here is my little uh, way to get to my sort of roof. My whole my whole house is kind of a system that sort of made itself and I just spruced it up a bit. So I put torches all around so monsters don't spawn like all over my all over my shelter. And today I guess I'm gonna go on my first some sort of adventure. Uh Gonna be going through some cave systems. Uh, main main objective is to look for minerals. So let's get moving. Uh, I suppose I'll start going this way. Okay, got a cave here already. I'm gonna have to use torches to light my way. Um, okay, didn't go anywhere there. I'm just gonna take that torch back, so it's not, so it's not a waste. Oh, perfect! Right off the bat, I found some iron. This isn't like a deep cave or nothing, but finding iron is always good. I'm gonna be able to melt this down later to find steel, and uh, I can use the steel to create better, uh, better tools and such. Just gonna dig around it a little in case there was more that I missed. No, it appeared to only be three. Oh well. I'm gonna keep moving then. Take these torches back since I don't probably won't come back here for a while. Um, I'll just go ahead and drop off this iron in the furnace. So while I'm out it'll start creating uh, steel for me. Okay, now next I suppose oh, some ham here. Guess I'll take that for later. I believe this is the dark cave that I was talking about in the first video that I passed by and I thought, okay, that looks interesting. So I'll go ahead and start exploring in here. Hold on a second. Ah, gonna change that. It's on peaceful because that prevents monsters from spawning, which I was using earlier just to create without the hassle of getting attacked. Like building my shelter, I mean. But without monsters, it wouldn't be as interesting to watch, so I'll turn it back on for this. All right, found some coal here. Coal's generally always a good find. I do have a lot of it, but 
no sense in just letting it go to waste. Okay. Wow. This looks very intriguing. I'll be setting torches along the way so that you guys can see, but also so I can see. Hmm. Fork in the road. See, these cave systems are generated just as randomly as the rest of the world, so they can be very winding and complex. And I've already found water. This waterfall leads somewhere. Coal over there. I'm being slowed down by my armor. Which is sort of a nuisance, but you know what? Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm, I may come back there later. But for now, watch there be water this way too. But for now, oh yes, iron. Good, good. Iron is probably one of the most useful things because it can create some of the best tools and it's not as like super rare as diamond. Diamond I believe is the best material in the game so that's the ultimate goal of any digging or expedition. I'm surprised I haven't encountered any monsters yet. I sure hope... Well, that'd be interesting to find some, but... Oh, I hear spiders. Oh, yeah. There's spiders and zombies in these walls. I'm gonna have to face them soon. Okay, so what... What you'll commonly be told... As far as digging goes, when you're... On any sort of expedition like I am... Uh, never dig directly down. Like, don't dig under your feet. I hear skeletons too now. Oh boy. Anyway, don't dig directly down or directly up. I'm gonna put some light. In case you couldn't see. Because if you dig directly down or up, there's always a chance that something could fall on you, like dirt could fall on you and you could get suffocated. Or... Lava could fall on you. You never know, so it's better not to take that chance. Okay, I believe the zombies, well, the monsters are this way. That's what I hear. Oh boy. Oh god. That scared me. Okay, it's a skeleton. Skeletons shoot arrows, and I'm in his range, but he's not in mine. And I don't have my own bow and arrow. Ow. At least the armor is helping. Come closer. after him. Oh. Oh. Got a crack shot. If I go in after him, I don't want to get surrounded by zombies and other monsters. Oh. No! 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 Yes. Oh, I saw the spider. Retreat. <sighs> okay. I brought that food with me. Okay, that is a creeper. If you get within one square of those things, they'll explode, and they do a lot of damage. That I'm more afraid of that thing than... Okay, two spiders. Boy! I picked a dangerous place. Oh! More skeletons. Uh, frame rate issues. 
God, this place is dangerous. Okay, it sounded... I also heard water, so it sounded like it's around that corner. I'm gonna heal up. Oh. Oh boy. This is very stressful. And I don't see... I don't see the skeleton. Which is bad, because he can see me. I also kind of want that bone. That's where all the spiders are. Oh god. No! No! Oh shit! Yes! Oh. Fighting a spider in an open area like this is always a bad idea because spiders are... They will hop around and they will get the upper hand and kill you. Oh, that was risky. Oh, also oh, that's where the skeleton is. Oh god, see? This guy's got wall hacks, I swear. Shot me through the wall. Okay, just a moment. Okay, I'm running out of time for this video. So I'm going to dig out of here. Hopefully get back to my uh, my shelter, and then I will continue next time in this Let's Play. So as I'm going back, just a reminder, I appreciate people who, you guys who leave comments, uh, because it really helps me, ooh, nice iron, because it really helps me to know what you guys like to see what you don't like to see, if something's boring you want me to cut it out, if something's interesting and you want me to add it, like how I uh, cut out my building stuff. So, go ahead and leave comments, tell me tell me all that good stuff. Now, this is a problem, I can't remember how to get out. Ah. using shovels on dirt. Okay. Now that I have some string, I'm going to come back to this dungeon later much more prepared because I'll be able to fashion a bow and arrow. Oh, and it's night outside. That's scary. Yeah, you can see zombies off there. I'm going to switch to a better sword in case there's a lot of enemies. Okay, there's a cow in my house. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, sheep. Okay. So that was a very interesting first adventure. Um, we'll continue this later, and I will definitely be going back. Don't you worry. Uh, all right, so that's all for now. Thank you for joining me.